Hey guys, it is Sophia the Diabetic Vlogger. This is August 10th, 2019. It is Saturday. I know it's been two weeks since I have filmed and I apologize for that. I have been having a really rough couple of weeks. So I'm going to just do kind of a recap of what has been going on in my life. And you guys can leave in the comments down below what you guys have been up to with school, with vacation, with reading, with getting ready for school, or whatever you guys have been doing this summer. Just let me know in the comments down below or post the video. And you guys can use the tag as well. So let's get started. So, um, my EKG class ended on Wednesday the 7th, and ever since it's ended, it's been so weird, because I, it feels so weird not having score to do or having class to go to, and I'm glad that it's over. EKG was really difficult, and it was really tough, and I passed with a B, so I'm happy with that. Um, but anyway, today I was supposed to go to a tutoring session for EKG. I didn't wake up early enough. And since I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow, I thought even though I need to go, I don't think this is going to be good for my mindset if I go and study right now because I'm going to be thinking about it. I need to forget about school for a little bit and relax. And when I get back, I will revisit this stuff and go to as much tutoring as I possibly can. So, last weekend, I guess it will be a week, a week from today is when I took, I went and took my CNA national test to get certified. I passed the skills. I mean, I passed the written test. I did not pass the skills, which was really hard for me, but I just got to retake it. I've got, sadly, I've got to wait a month, which is very sad. But I had to wait for five hours, and the place where I took it, they were not very helpful. There's only one instructor, and he had lots of people to do by himself, and I think he just, um, he might have not noticed things when I said things that I forgot. I don't think he probably noticed. He, he put them down on my grading sheet because if since I mentioned them, I still should have got credit for them, which I don't think I did. So it's sad I got to pay for it again to redo it, but I can still do it and I know I can pass it next time. I got really simple skills. I was just, I did not sleep good. It was rainy. I was tired. I was 30 minutes away from home and it's just not a good fit. So, um, and then this was the second to last week before EKG, and then for EKG I had to run a EKG and get tested on it, and I got 86% on that, so that's good. Wish I could have got 100, but I just, I had to take three days off between, for the last three, the three, I was six last days of class. When I went home, I did not study EKG stuff, I just did CNA stuff, and I read the CNA book, which was good, because the written test was so easy. If you guys are going to take the written test, it is so easy. Just read the book and use your head and you'll be able to pass it. And so, and I was going to film that week and I was just so um, sad about it. And I just needed to kind of recoup and get through it and deal with these feelings and ideas I had in my head because of failing it and dealing with it and getting over it, which I think I've gotten over it fine now. I'm doing pretty good at considering. So, something else, which I guess I know I'm not, is I decided to drop my phlebotomy class, which would have been starting on Monday. And I'm really sad not to be with my friends that I went through the past two classes with. But it's really quick, and how these classes have been run, I have been taught, I have learned a lot, and it's been a great experience, but I've not had enough hands-on training, we don't have enough equipment, time, or teachers, so I don't need to do it. And for such an important skill, and I want to do really well at it, and to soar, and to be the best I can at it. So I'm probably going to either take it in the fall, in October, in November, and get certified then, because the classes will be longer, and we'll have more time to learn how to do it. So let me know what you guys' plans are for the fall and for um, the fall and what you guys are doing for summer. And like I said, I'm so relieved. I'm sad to be kind of out of school because I really enjoyed it, but I'll, I will get back to school in the future. So I'm trying to find a job. I applied for a job for a phlebotomist, which is paid, trained for the American Red Cross. 
So I hope I get it because that would be amazing because I'd love just to jump into working and training at the same time because that's what I feel motivated to do right now is to do both and I want to do both and I know that will help me learn better and be a better phlebotomist and do my job better. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what you guys have been doing in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time in another one. Goodbye.